Sometimes most people think post-traumatic stress disorder is directly involved with being in the military, but things that take place in our lives can cause PTSD. Everyone knows someone who's affected by PTSD, whether you know it or not. It occurs every day and it happens to so many people in so many different ways and you just don't label it post-traumatic because you don't think about it as that. Not knowing that it's going to cause ripples down your life. Trauma affects us all in different ways. It's kind of hard to describe why do I have this feeling of fear but yet I'm not in danger. For years I had terrible anxiety attacks. It just didn't stop. I'd be in business meetings and it'd be playing before my eyes like a movie screen. I've had dreams where I thought I was back there. I remember swerving across the highway when I saw a box because I thought it was an IED. You can't see it and that's the hardest thing is you don't see post-traumatic stress. When the brain experiences either an emotional trauma or a physical trauma, it tries to protect itself. It is a reordering of the neural networks in the brain. Your body does not know the difference between a real bear or a traumatic experience that you keep reliving in your brain. We are experiencing incoherent rhythms in our heart as we're experiencing those emotions. Trauma changes the brain, and so we need to engage those parts of the brain that are in charge of that. There's many people who need to recover their paths to recovery. People sometimes are looking for a quick fix or they're looking for a solution that fits every situation, and it's not as simple as that. Whatever has happened to you is not you. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. You can get better.